Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be playing Mini Shoot Adventures. Let's get into it. Let's play the original how it's meant to be played. So Mini Shoot Adventures is what I would describe as a kind of Zelda-like, maybe Metroidvania. We play as a cute little ship, but after the calamity happened, no one's around you to figure out what happened. So in this game you play, you get upgrades, and you can level up. I played a bit of this, I played the tutorial, so we can get straight up into it. Wake up, little one. The corruption has emerged. The unchosen is back. Search for your shipling friends. Retrieve my primordial powers and restore balance to the great crystal. So we can kind of get us out. Bam. So this is us. This is our player character. Cute little ship. So we can't shoot at the moment. And we also cannot swim. Even though we're flying, we can't fly over the water. So we'll pick up our first upgrade. That is the gun. Uh, it is a twin stick shooter. So you do shoot uh, using the right analog stick. You can play with mouse and keyboard. It is perfectly fine. I played with it in my first testings. Part of the game is these crystals. You pick them up and you can level up. We might get a level up here. No, we're still way far away from a level up. As this is kind of like a Zelda-like, there are a lot of different little hidden alcoves and secrets to be found. I found this game quite interesting and I was only going to play a little bit of it, but I ended up playing quite a bit. But I thought I'd come back and record it for you guys. Just kind of show you a bit of the game. We've got wave based system. And we've got big guys. Well, this guy's taking a lot of damage. Uh, we will be. So you've got manual aiming, you got assisted and automatic. Assisted is kind of what the game should be played with if you're playing with a controller. So here's our first level up. Bam. So yeah, that level up gives us one skill point and we can go into the menu where we can upgrade. So here we have a bunch of skills that we can upgrade, crit chance, move speed, damage, and of course bullet spread. We do unlock some other stuff as well, uh, but later on. The good thing about this menu is that you can actually, you can actually spend it and then downgrade it. So you're not locked into any build. So right now I'm going to increase my fire rate. And then when we get another level up, I'm going to increase my damage by taking away from that fire rate. So here's our home base. Save our little friend. He's a little bit damaged, but it's okay. Um, He wants us to trade five of these 
kind of circular crystals for some guns. That will give us a little level up to our guns. Game is quite a chill game. Uh, it does get a, a little bit bullet helly towards the end, but you do get a few upgrades like dodges, jumps, and dashes. There is a oh my god, we've taken damage. Okay, so that's our first instance of damage, as you can see in the top left. We have HP. We just have three hits, and that's it. Dead. Oh no, we're we've been ambushed. Are these guys that run around. Oh, wasn't paying attention. We're just not strong enough to be in there. My poor child, you cannot give up now. The unchosen must be stopped, even if you defy financiud itself. Gotta be honest with you, I didn't read that area. So we could go back there, or we could go a little bit exploring. So as you can see over there, that is a heart crystal. If we collect four of those, we can level up our HP or our health. There's really no such thing as a wasting XP. Killing people, killing things, it doesn't matter if you die, you still keep all your XP. Okay, well we can't get over there, so... We leveled up again, I'm gonna take it from fire ray and put it in damage. It's gotta give us a little bit more damage. And that will help us heal stuff. In the middle, there's something. We gotta fight for it. Kind of in the Thunderdome. I don't like that thing. As you can see, when things get damaged, that is a big guy. When things get damaged, they start turning like a shade of red. The closer to like pure red they are, the... the less amount of health they have and he died so we got one of our big coins seems like we get those from big enemies and we got a little map so that's currently where we are that's our main objective up there Trying to ambush me. Once again. Open up another little area. Come through here. This kind of maze. Some golden key there. Don't think we can do anything here, so we'll have to come back. do little spins while we're shooting that's one thing I like about this game is that you can move and shoot at the same time without getting affected so it doesn't really slow you down shooting so it's always about moving it's, it's ABS always be shooting if you follow that advice you're gonna win this game I'm getting some tight dodges in here. 
Okay, we've got another big guy. Don't know if we've versed his kind before. He's got a lot of HP. He will fall like the others have fallen. Take another one of those and we will take our heart piece. So three more of those and we get a level up. Okay, we can't activate them yet, so we'll come out of here. And this is where the Metroidvania style comes in. The game is meant to be played going back and forth to different areas. Oh, well, okay. Just put us in a uh, dangerous situation like that. If they all fired at once, I don't think our little friend was going to get out. pick that up and we can head back one of the upgrades I like picking is range because that means we don't have to be as close to the enemy as we need to be the further away we can be the safer we are I'll trade you for two guns so this gives us double the damage I think. I don't know actually how it works. We're, we're shooting things really hardly now. Our damage potentially doubled? Let's get revenge. So you don't really lose anything when you die other than progression in the room that you were in. Now we're a bit stronger. Not strong enough though, it seems. That's a little HP. And we get another one of these. We do get a speed boost as one of our powers, so we can kind of dash around. And this is kind of where, like, in my opinion, the Zelda-like comes in. Because it has pots. Uh, no, not just because it has pots. Because there's a lot of different areas in here that is very secretive. And who knows? Like this area. <laughs> Which we're versing upgraded enemies of the base level, guys. And they take a lot of damage. But any enemy is good XP. <laughs> when we're such low level at the moment. Leveling up anything is really good. Get some fire rate. Add some more stuff in there. Obviously the bigger enemies give more XP or little crystals. And the smaller enemies give less. I do like the level up mechanic. Kind of interesting that they have the whole gems filling up. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be here. We're really struggling to deal damage to these guys and we kind of have to dodge a lot. But we can dodge as long as you do the ABS method always be circling and you can never get hit
collect everything automatically gets collected so you don't have to worry about it you can go under here pick up our little treasure and we are one step away from getting another heart piece so the map does not update while you're in an underground territory and get in there and enemies do respawn after you leave the area and come back as far as I'm aware that so we can buy another gun but we need 22 which is a lot so we just continue forward uh, we can unlock shortcuts like that one that we just did and that means we can get to places quicker we unlock this area over here might as well check it out this oh looks like we're gonna get our first upgrade just have to clear out some few of these wrapped scallions I'm not sure if these are the same species as us they're shiplings or not we have gained boost so now we can jump over stuff which will lead us to our first boss a shame that it runs out but it charges pretty quickly and this is where the I would say the Zelda like comes into play we're kind of in a dungeon we've got to get our dungeon keys and we've got to kind of figure out a way to get the boss key or a boss key Somehow we got to get in there. And as you can see, the very like start of the bullet hell happening. Once you add more and more ships into the mix, these bullets don't disappear until they hit a wall. Whoa, nearly got here there. Plain silly buggers. Okay, so this is our very first big guy. So they do appear in rooms and they're not just special spawns. But we can sprint everywhere now. Even though it takes us a while. Recharge. We can upgrade that, get more movement speed. Now you can see that I have two level ups. You might think, oh, I've forgotten to level up. No, we are saving so we can get damage three. And by getting damage three, it's going to make the this boss a whole lot easier. On the map, oh, not on the map, it doesn't work in here. There's no mini map, which means you have to kind of explore. As you can see, there's a little up area there. But look, it's a secret. That gives us our first battery upgrade. Battery is kind of, or energy, is kind of the sprinting system of the game. used our first key once you use a key that's it you can't get it back but there is enough keys to do everything in the um, dungeon I 
I like killing the small little ones first. That way we can focus on the big guy. Because it's going to be really hard to rush the big guy with all the bullets that are happening. Okay, there we go. Another upgrade. We get three. Got to put that into damage. You think we'd be able to get that, but we can't get over. There's gotta be a way that we can get over there. Maybe we can upgrade. And get over there either. Ooh. Nearly fell off. Falling off doesn't do any damage to you, which is very nice. But it does put you in perilous positions. It might put you in the path of a bullet or an enemy. It's best not to fall off. But that's where we put our boss key, which we don't have. But we can now pick up another upgrade. We have the dash now, which is not the same as sprinting. It's on the same button, but you can jump these gaps. Jumping these gaps will allow us to cross areas that we couldn't before. That's where that kind of Metroidvania comes in. We get the ability to go into new places. We can explore different parts of the world. Well, uh, the dodge is not really a dodge in the sense of, say, enter the gungeon or something like that. Because you don't, you're not invisible, you're not invincible when you do it. This will be our last heart piece and then we get a whole new container. It's got to make the boss even easier. little secrets like that help us level up and there is ways where you can just farm enemies for different points don't have enough keys luckily we can go up here another upgrade one more so we could upgrade our crit chance which will hopefully give us some lucky hits i think crit is double damage but i'm not sure i don't have the actual technical document that tells you what it does And I gotta dodge all these. And get hit. The bigger the bullet does not necessarily mean it does more damage. I'm pretty sure all hits do one damage except for red bullets. Those do two damage. Um, and you know what a red bullet looks like because they're pretty distinct. So here we are. <laughs> so here we are. We have the boss to fight and we can just activate it. And it doesn't matter if we die because we can always respawn and come and test it out once again. So we've got our first boss. He's a big guy for you. This game doesn't have any health bars. You just kind of got to hope 
he's close to dying. It does have phases though. Okay. None of that. We'll have none of that. I don't want to get hit by you. He must be dead soon. Come on. And now he's just spinning. The, the red bullets I'm talking about aren't those red bullets. It's kind of an opposite. It's like a black center with red. And now he's slowly moving. This is kind of just sad. And here's the bullet hell aesthetic. He exploded. He dropped a weird skull. Dungeon complete. One out of four down. I have no idea where that is though. That's what we've got to figure out. So that was our first dungeon. And while we talk about it, I'm going to head back to base. So yes, this was mini shoot adventures. This was a small taste of it. If you liked what the game looked like, I suggest going out and playing it. It's a really good game. Uh, it reminded me a lot of Tunic in the way that the game is presented and the secrets that it has. And it's kind of like a Zelda Metroidvania. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.